My mother always taught me that uh, you, you got to be your, your own man. And you have to remember one thing. You're as good as anybody in the world, but no better. I, I had made up my mind completely. I was going to be a labor leader. That was going to be my life's work. I rise with a great deal of humility and overwhelming gratitude. With your help, this union will grow to be the most successful. Without your help, without your cooperation, and without your assistance, I can't make it a success. I beg of you, please help me. I wanna... This is my union, and I helped create it, and I love it, and I take it to my dying day. You look to this union for your livelihood. Without it, you're dead in the water. This merger of our four railroad unions was the largest merger ever uh, in organized labor. We saw the benefits of a, of a merged organization. We learned to live together. Al Chesser, the UTU's national legislative director, knows the Washington labor scene inside out. I'll guarantee you, I'll be in your corner. You don't have to worry about that. So after the merger of our four organizations, all of a sudden it was contract time. I just sat down in that chair. <laughs> uh, it was tough, but like Harry Truman said, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen, and I decided to stay in the kitchen. We negotiated the biggest contract that's ever been negotiated before. It came up to about 42%. The economy of this United States was driven upward by organized labor, by better wages, better working conditions. When you follow the railroad business as long as I have, uh, it's, you, you just you stop and think, what's happened? Now you read in the paper, a CEO uh, makes thousands of times more than one of the workers. There's something wrong, it's out of balance. Of course, there's always turmoil in the labor movement, you know, but I, I think during my presidency, during my administration, we, we may have had some of the worst times of our working life. The bankruptcy of all the railroads in the, in the East, the big ones and the little ones, those, was, those were tough days. Those were, you had to make some hard decisions back then. The Congress stopped it. Call for meetings. And they was really heated meetings. The carriers testifying, us testifying, and uh, to make a long story short, we created Conrail. There's no more interesting job in the world than working in Washington, D.C. You're working in the greatest city in the world with the greatest government in the world. I wrote every member of our union and told them how important this pact was. I started at 25 cents a month. Anyway, I could not believe what happened. They flooded us with 25 cent donations. All of a sudden, we had some money from all over the country. It was a new day dawning. So you get into this union, do something besides paying your dues and help this union do what it's supposed to do for you. We need your help. 
We've got to have your help to proceed. Light that fire in your belly and get going. You've got it. We need it. We hold the record in Washington, D.C. of passing the most legislation in one session of Congress. We passed six bills in one session of Congress. This union gave me the opportunity to have hundreds and hundreds of friends in the United States House and Senate. Our many friends during this time wrote into law several legislative bills that improved the safety and working conditions of our members. My tenure here and as president of this great union gave me the opportunity to personally know six presidents in the United States. May God shed his grace on each of you and this union, and may it be reflected in our work. Thank you very much.